Hi, I'm Johan Magnussen with Alfresco Grills, and I'm here to share with you today Alfresco's amazing Mega Drive rotisserie system. The Alfresco rotisserie is a unique, chain driven, whisper quiet, silky smooth but extra strong rotisserie that's built directly into the grill assembly. Let's first talk about how to fire up your rotisserie. Open the hood, press the proper igniter button, and then turn the control knob 90 degrees counterclockwise to the on position. If the burner does not light within four seconds, turn the control knob to off, wait five minutes, and attempt to relight. After your first use of the rotisserie burner, it is likely that the stainless steel adjacent and directly above the burner will darken to a dark blue color. This is normal property of the corrosion resistant type 304 stainless steel used in the manufacturing of the grill and it's not detrimental at all to its operation. So your Alfresco Gourmet Grill is capable of performing back burner rotisserie cooking and the location of the rear burner allows the placement of the included rotisserie basting pan beneath the food to collect juices and drippings for basting and gravy. To ensure that an IR burner is lit, very carefully place your hand about 8 to 10 inches away from the burner surface. If you do not feel the heat of the burner, shut off the control knob, wait five minutes and attempt to relight. With bigger cuts, we recommend you set the heat to low. The Signature Taste Smoking System also offers the ability to smoke your rotisserie food as well. The exclusive Mega Drive rotisserie motor is capable of turning up to 50 pound cut of meat and poultry with a maximum diameter of 12 inches. So to load the skewer, slide the meat holders with the prongs facing towards the center of the skewer bar, push the skewer through the center of the food and then slide the second meat holder prongs towards the food onto the skewer. Center the product to be cooked on the skewer, then push the meat holders firmly together. Then you want to tighten the thumb nuts of the meat holders with pliers. It may also be necessary to wrap the food with some butcher strings, never use nylon or plastic strings, just to secure any loose portions. Once the food is secure, insert the skewer into the coupler, start the motor with a switch located on the right side of the control panel, and you're ready to go. When loading your rotisserie, make sure that you center and balance the food on the skewer. You can actually test this by spinning the skewer in your hands first to make sure that there is no wobble. When preparing your food for the rotisserie, truss it a little bit extra by tying up a couple of more strings than usual. This will ensure that it remains more stable on the skewer and that it won't fall off. A lot of the times when you get a roast like a leg of lamb, you get it in a net. What you want to do here is don't unpack it or remove it from the net. Just skewer it and cook it in the net. Maybe attach some herbs to it or some garlic and so forth. Since you're already using the drip pan, consider filling it with beer or wine to infuse the flavor, or even add vegetables, carrots, onions, maybe even some celery and some broth to collect the drippings to make a great gravy or a sauce. Details like this can really enhance the flavors of a meal. Make sure that the rotisserie is completely cool when you begin the cleaning process, wiping off the tongs and the skewer with a soft, damp, soapy cloth and rinsing with warm or hot water. The drip pan can actually go in the dishwasher. Now, if your rotisserie is particularly messy, perhaps with oil or grease, then use a multi-purpose cream cleanser and apply with a soft, uh, damp cloth, then rinse with water. Now, if you're dealing with really stubborn dirt or burnt on grease, you can use a nylon scouring pad with a cream cleanser. Never use wire wool pads unless they are made of stainless steel and never use harsh abrasive scouring material, wire brushes, 
uh, scrapers or contaminated scouring pads. And also make sure that you wipe along the grain direction of the stainless steel and the grates rather than across it. And then of course, if needed, dry with a soft towel after cleaning. So I really hope these details will help you get up to speed quickly with using your Alfresco rotisserie system. I'm Johan Magnussen for Alfresco Open Air Culinary System and happy grilling.